I am of the opinion that the common definitions of words and phrases are usually more important than the dictionary definitions of those words. I'm of the opinion that the common view of an ideology or belief is more important than what you find in uh, scholarly articles and academic journals. You can call me anti-intellectual if you want. Hey, I'm not saying we should completely ignore the academic journals and scholarly articles. But we need to at least balance it out with the fact that a lot of times the way that the ways that different ideologies and beliefs and philosophies are actually shoved forth in reality are often very different than what these articles describe them as. When I can see that an ideology or belief or philosophy has caused a lot of damage and has become toxic in some manner, when I get told, well, no, it's not toxic, just look at these scholarly articles. Just look at all these academic journals. And I'm like, um, I'm telling you what I'm seeing. I'm telling you what, look, look at these statistics, look at all this stuff. But you're going to tell me, well, no, people, people study this stuff. And that means that it, what you see isn't really what you see. I'm like, um, no. You know, give me the statistics. You know, show me statistics. If you can show me statistics backing up your, your side of things, fine. But if all you're going to give me are a bunch of, uh, of philosophies based on these academic journals, well, this is what this should mean, and this is what this should be, and what this should, 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 should. I don't care what things should be. I care what they are. So, you know, whenever you hear people talking about a subject and they're saying something negative about an ideology, actually try to look at what that ideology represents currently before you start harping on them for not reading all these academic journals. Okay. There is a point when intellectualism becomes ridiculous. I mean, if we want to go that route, here let me let me let me invoke Godwin's law here. Um there could be a bunch of scholarly articles about what Hitler was like before he started to shove forth his racist policies. And we could talk all about all these wonderful things that Hitler did before he started implementing these racist policies. Hitler was in, in the... Uh, one of the most uh, influential people, according to Time Magazine, back way back then, before he really shoved forth his racist policies. So does that mean that he's a good guy? Hitler was just a good guy, because look at all these scholarly articles. No. Now you can get after me for invoking Godwin's Law and start naming all these things, these, these phrases that represent the kind of argument that I'm making. Oh my, you're using the uh, 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 fallacy, and the fallacy, and the fallacy. I don't fucking care what you label it. I don't care how you can label stuff. 
I don't give a shit. The labels aren't what's important. What's actually being argued is what is important. And if you want to dismiss things, everything that everybody says because it fits this fallacy or philosophy, then, you know, go for it and don't listen to anything anyone says and just be this stuffy piece of shit. I look at reality. I try to listen to what people say. There's a time and a place for, for, for scholarly articles and academic journals. There's a time and a place for those things. But you need to strike a balance and not just put those things above everything else. Because let's be honest, let's, look at, let's go back to the dictionary definitions of things, okay? Dictionaries are not what define words, okay? People define the words and then they eventually make their way into the dictionary because that's the way that those words are now defined. That's how it works. The dictionaries themselves are not what define words. Yes, they, they give what the current definitions have, or what the, not even necessarily the current definitions, they give what the definitions have been for words. But they themselves are not what define words. That's all I gotta say. <laughs>